down. So Moody and Curry don't come back in the game. Now the Warriors don't play again until Sunday. Let him rest that ankle. So Steph is not going to play in the set. Like he had an opportunity to come back, but that has not been official yet. This whole game has been a struggle. This is the opening game for Boston on this Western trip. And so they want to keep up that 18 and 4 roll that they're on as Looney scores inside. Patience from Looney worked out. Marcus Smart with Robert Williams. And with Tatum and Jalen Brown and Al Horford. Horford on the kick out. Raymond and Jalen Brown reset. And then Marcus Smart missing that three. Williams with the rebound and putting it up and in. Just using his size. This is tonight. Otto Porter set a really good screen. Here you go. It's a two on one. This will not be a three. And Clay lays it up and in. Needs some more of that. <laughs> eBay Udoka. The University of San Francisco. I knew a little Correct. something about them. San Francisco Dawns. Steph out with that left foot injury. And Tatum out of the timeout hitting a three. He's, again, you don't want him to get going. This could get even worse. So Boston is fun to watch defensively. Warriors are still holding the Celtics under 40% shooting, but Jordan Poole bottoms his first three, which is like the type of defense you would see from an elite team in a playoff series. The Celtics, you can tell, they found their identity again. As Marcus Smart hits a three. And he's one of the, that, it's obvious they found it again. They said they were 23 and 24. They've gone 18 and four since then. And Jordan Poole, Hitting from that's why in the Eastern Conference, when you think about Philly and Brooklyn, you see Milwaukee, you know Chicago, but Boston better be in that conversation. They still got a chance to even as Marcus Smart. You got a 32% three-point shooter who's fourth the franchise leader for most makes in a game. The franchise that had Larry Bird play for it is Clay Thompson knocks down a mid-range jumper. Say that again, please. Back. From injury and then the awareness figuring out what they were doing wrong defensively. They figured it out. Jalen Brown putting it in and drawing the foul. And so right now, Jordan's got it. We're trying to scramble it up there with Draymond double teaming. Now Tatum with a relocate three. He said if he joins the party with the Warriors being just bottled up, obviously, they won't have enough firepower to get back into it. He's, he's so tall, he can get off any shot he wants comfortably. It's a nice, cool, loony interchange. Well done. And Jordan striping that three. He's you're down big. You're tempted to keep hoisted up threes, but take it one possession at a time. You'll do yourself some good if you switch it up and try to get to the rim. Looney, good post up. Field goal on the foul. There you go. Small defender is on you. Derek White can't. Road trip. Yeah. And you get another three, off, three days off later in April. He's putting up points and rebounds at a pretty nice rate. First of all, he's moving really well. And he's figuring out how to rebound as Grant Williams knocks down a three in the corner where he loves to hang out. He's had some good jump hooks, and he's working on his touch, getting a little more air under there. He hit some mid-range jumpers here and there. So he's been having an impact. They've got a couple tornado moves. And Williams played the D. Somehow Quindary Weatherspoon got that rebound, and it's Looney working inside again. He's played well. Quindary Weatherspoon called up today is Tatum. First half, not so much. Second half, you look up, he's got Tatum as the screener. Will with the step back, he had Horford in the air. Show and go. Couple pump fakes. It's a good adjustment. As you said, Kay, possession by possession. Jordan, another open three, and this one buried. And Boston got a little lucky with the Warriors just missing. Marcus Smart being hounded by Quindary Witherspoon. Kick back to Tatum. Kaminga ran him off the line. The relocate three. Warriors play the D again. Witherspoon with the rebound. Hey, you're trying to build on this momentum you have here. Got a long way to go in this game. Just finish this quarter strong is what they're thinking. Poole's been the one offensive flame here. Can you turn it into a forest fire? 
Shot clock down to five. JTA missing that three. I was going to say, since you've made some threes this quarter, you can almost go backwards with it and use that to be able to get into the paint a little more. You saw how they sold out to Jordan Poole. Two defenders were on him. He took it into the paint, kicked it back out. You got an open three, but the Celtics are so good, they kind of left the guy that they wanted to take the three open. The lob to Williams, well thrown and well finished. Hey, Marcus Smart, what a game that he's had. He's had a nice floor game. 18 points, eight assists, three rebounds. The Celtics know with no Curry coming back, Poole's been the one offensive lifeline here. Got a lot of attention. Shot clock at seven. Jordan got it back. What a wipeout screen by JTA. And Poole hits that three. That's the give and go. Make sure he relocated there. Grant Williams was not ready for JTA. It was a legal screen, though. Tatum, what a take. He had Kaminga and an... Jordan Poole saying, I'm the guy. I know I'm the guy. Everybody's focused on him. He got into the paint, relocated, and JTA was looking for him and then set that great screen. And then Jason Tatum is saying, well, they're not ready for me right now. We said he can get hot. He's screaming and one. He's powerful. Look at how he's built now. Three-time All-Star, the one-year Duke, missing the free throw there.